Hi, I'm Actifab, and today I'm going to be unboxing a Nana Nana with a hair. I'm going to be unboxing this particular Nana Nana. What series are you from? Glam series. It's been a while since I've actually collected a Nana Nana, like got out of the way but I got her a while back at a discount store is actually going out of business there's another one near me and I can't find it so I want to go I think it is I think it's near me um but I have yet to find it um because when in the one place is going out of business I looked them up and they said that there was one near me so I don't know if that one also went out of business but I anyways I got this doll so, this sticker says $15, but she wasn't. She was cheaper than that because, again, they had, like, a whole bunch of really good sales. Um, so, it's, like, if you spend a certain amount, you get pretty good percentage off. Like, 50% or something. And you only had to spend, like, 25 bucks. So, uh, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, so, oops. We gotta show the doll. So, this is the series where they started, like, you can touch the doll, which always really bothered me because I don't want people touching my doll so look at her hair it's all messy it's coming out so i'm gonna need to brush it but i digress so anyways her name is lilling lillian i don't i don't say her name because like that's clearly not lily right like it's lilling luck i don't know um and then you can see her little art which is really cute you can see the stuff on the back it says i'm blessed with good fortune and then it says that in, I think, two other languages. And then you can see the other characters. So I have her, and I have her now. I do not want her. Like, I don't like her. I don't think she looks good. Um, sorry. I think they're all countries, is my assumption. Like, the one is America. D Mallory Duckington is the one that I have. And I think she's Europe. My assumption I don't know the other ones, but that's what I thought when I saw them, is that they're all supposed to be different countries. But maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I probably am. Let's cut her out, because I just want her out of the box. Okay. Let's go. Her hair is, like, flying everywhere, so I'm really scared that I'm going to end up cutting it. Okay. Yeah, like... With this packaging, they also have to, like, really secure them in, which, like, originally the non and us were not, like, stapled in here because, you know, they didn't need to be because you couldn't access them. So, it kind of bothers me now that they do, but I guess I want it all to be safe and not stolen. That's what they have to do. I think I just cut like a good amount of her hair. Oh, let's see. I'm not seeing it, okay. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. <sighs> Come on out. Dolls out. Can I get this out? Maybe. Just come on out. Where are you stuck? <clears throat> Honestly, I don't know what the purpose of having these still because originally the dolls would be stuffed in here. Um, but I guess this is their way of being like, you're gonna still get this bag so we can keep it at that price. Um, but let's open it up. So it's actually really cute. Like, don't get me wrong, I do like them. It's got a little keychain thingy so you can put it on your bag. And then it opens up, and we got a little plastic thing holding it open, so it looks nice. And the little collector guide. Throw that away. Um, here it is. You can use it as a poster, too. Really cute. See the little characters? Cool. <laughs> um, but cute, anyways. And you can store stuff or put stuff in it. Um, I've used it for, like, change and stuff. Um... And like maybe put some cute stuff but this one's actually really nice too because it's like a nice material you gotta see what it looks like i'm not always like obsessed with that so let's take a look at the dolls so we're just gonna call her lilling if it's wrong please do correct me tell me how to say it um she's gorgeous she's got little plastic on her legs though and i 
I gotta cut it off. I didn't realize that she did. Um, why? And it's like on her crotch. Oh, maybe that's like holding her skirt up. Wait. <laughs> okay. Um, how do I get this off without like cutting her legs? Cause I think her that color is not pants. Okay, there we go. There we go. Almost. First piece of plastic off. And then this piece of plastic. Come on. This one came off a lot nicer because my other doll had it. I feel like the Duckington Mallory had it. And I definitely struggled the most with her. So I'm excited that it's coming off nicely. They saw that and they were like, <laughs> obviously they didn't. She came out at the same time. But here she is. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I also love their hair. Like, I don't, I don't know what they do with it. Barber brush. It's a little out of place, so I'm just gonna brush a little. I'm also not seeing if I actually genuinely cut it, and there's a little snarl. Beautiful. Oops. <gasps> Do you see that? Can you see that? I accidentally, she's got a little ponytail, and I, I may have messed up. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm cutting that ponytail out. She doesn't need it. So we're, we're changing the look of the doll a little. Because I'm never going to get that back how it's supposed to look. Perfect. <laughs> okay. What is this? It's like little white stuff in her hair. And... <laughs> uh, specifically, not an Oz. But when I brush, like, specifically, like, they have it really bad when I brush their hair. Like, I'm like, oh, it's a little out of place. Chunks of hair. The, obviously, I roll, I rolled this up. But, like, chunks of hair come out. And it always scares me. And I watched somebody one time and they were like, yeah, like, sometimes when you brush, like, brand new dolls or, like, other stuff, hair will come out. Because, like, maybe it's not fully in properly or, like, it's it's getting the... I don't know. I don't know. They explained it, and I was, every time I tell my, I just tell myself that. I'm like, it's supposed to happen. It's supposed to. <laughs> um, so you can see the side that I brushed. It's, like, nice, even length, and then the side that isn't, it, it looks, it doesn't look as good. So I needed to do it. I'm telling myself I need a fresher hair. Okay. Gorgeous doll. I absolutely love them because they have the hats. I didn't originally like the teens. Like, I was like, I will not like them because they didn't, like, the hats didn't stay on and that always really bothered me. I think they look so cute with the hats. I know people don't. I know people want to take them off, but the hair is stuck to the hat. Like, the hat is stuck on the head. If you take the hat off, if you cut it out, the hair comes off too. Keep that in mind. I personally love how they look. I have always been a fan of Nana Nas when they came out, when I saw them, when I started collecting. Um, I loved them, and I know that these are not everyone's favorite. Um, and I don't, I don't have them any. I wish I did. Um, I think they're so cute. I love them. I've always been a really big fan. Um, my biggest issue with these dolls, before we get into, like, what she's wearing and stuff, is the texture. This texture, I've issues um it bothers me so like keep that in mind like I don't think everyone's gonna have that issue but I don't uh, I don't like that texture <laughs> um so I do kind of avoid a lot of times the body like I'll hold it like this I am holding this which does have that really gross texture um like I don't know how to explain it uh, it's like you can feel the grooves and I don't I don't like that but also keep in mind I I don't like my own fingerprints like that texture bothers me so like keep that in mind <laughs> um you probably don't have that issue but anyways here's the doll so these are fabric dolls they are like plastic and then fabric covers them um squishy material like squishy it's soft. Um, I don't know really how to explain them, but basically they're, fa they're fabric dolls. Um, so she's got some printed eyes. You can see some printed makeup. Her eyes are brown. She has yellow and red eyeshadow. It looks really pretty. Her eyebrows are <laughs> small. I don't think they're usually like that, but maybe they are. And then she's got like a reddish orange lip color and you can see some blushing which is super pretty she's got her little hat it's fluffy and soft it's got some red details here and then some orange and yellow details here again in the back i don't know what kind of animal oh she's a cat obviously you can see them on her um she's got a really cute hoodie it does velcro in the back she has black hair um and the little tag sticks out as well um 
so she's got a little hoodie it's a little red hoodie part this does velcro but obviously it's not going to fit around her head it's pretty small um the main part of the hoodie is white with some yellow details she's got this little thing here it's gold i don't know how to describe it um and then a little green detail as well kind of get her more closer up because i don't really know how to describe this but this is supposed to be a little pocket but it doesn't no it doesn't work it's sewn on she's got some really cute trim oh, i absolutely love the fact that she's like wearing a cute hoodie um her her pants look high-waisted like her little skirt is definitely high-waisted and it's black with red stitching detail which is really pretty again I think these aren't functional no the little like belt loops are um not functional they're sewn it down but nonetheless super pretty her leggings are her legs they you can't take them off but you can see some detail look hats ah so fun um and then here's her shoes just a little bit more close up um they're like a dark red and black details and then brown bottoms really cute you can kind of see her legs a little bit more there again her hair goes past her shoes and feet so keep that in mind and she's absolutely gorgeous they each have a little tag kind of like beanie babies or beanie boos and they tell you about the dolls i think they're pretty and fun um this one it just says not at ass prize and then inside it says lilling luck birthday is july 7th and then it just says i'm blessed with good fortune so her birthday is july 7th it's always fun because like i'm like oh, i gotta celebrate it and then i always forget so here she is i feel like there's not too much to talk about with these dolls but <sighs> look how pretty and i'm so excited to add her to my collection she has movement at the arms or <sighs> she has movement at the head the arms you can see that very like small movement and then the legs but obviously like she can't sit like she cannot sit <laughs> well properly i guess because like then she's going into split territory um nonetheless really pretty obviously she's a lot smaller than a barbie even a brass i think um, I have a doll near me. Um, I don't know if anyone else has this doll for reference, but here she is next to an art squad doll. And again, she's pretty small. So I don't know the exact height of these dolls. Yeah, here is the stuff that she comes with. She did not come with a brush. My Valentine's one did, but Duckington did not. Mallory Duckington did not. <laughs> Anyways, Mark Todd, thanks for watching me. Unbox her. If you have any questions, if I missed anything, if you want to see her a little bit more close up, let me know. Uh, but yeah, Mark Todd, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!